Backstage View, which is new to all Microsoft Office 2010 applications, is where to go when you want to make changes to Microsoft Outlook. You can access many options and settings from this new centralized location. You can change account settings, create rules and alerts, and manage your mailbox from Backstage View. Backstage View replaces the Microsoft Office button and the file menu that were included in previous versions of Office. You want to spend some time exploring Backstage View to familiarize yourself with its features and options, so you'll open it and look at what it contains. By default, Outlook opens to Mail on the Home tab. Do you see the colored file tab located on the ribbon? This is the tab that we can use to open Backstage View. Let's click it now to begin exploring its many features. This is Backstage View, where all management tasks are performed. Context-sensitive buttons, such as Save As and Save Attachments, are located at the top of the left pane. These buttons change depending on the current component, Mail, Calendar, Tasks, or Contacts. Tabs, such as the Info tab we are now viewing, are located below the Context buttons. On the Info tab, Account Information and Settings are displayed in the center of the screen. Let's start reviewing the other tabs by accessing the Print tab first. You may be familiar with the print options from previous versions of Office. Here, you can use the features that were available in the print dialog box in previous versions, such as setting up an email message or calendar to print. In addition, printer properties and whether we want to include attachments can be modified here by using the Print Options button. Next, we'll take a look at the Open tab. The Open tab allows you to open Outlook items such as calendars, saved emails, tasks, and appointments. This tab also contains folder sharing options, like the ability to open a folder that is being shared by another user. Also, if you're part of a database or Microsoft Exchange server, the Open tab allows you to import files and settings into your Outlook account. Let's move to the Help tab. The Help tab contains links to Microsoft Office Help, the Getting Started page, and the Microsoft Support website. From here, you can also check for the latest software updates and view information about the currently installed version of Outlook. The Options button, below Help in the left pane, is important because it provides access to program settings you might want to customize. Let's take a quick peek at it now. We can use the Outlook Options dialog box to customize how Outlook operates. For example, we could use the Mail tab to change the settings that apply to email messages, the Calendar tab to modify Outlook's calendar feature, or the Contacts tab to specify how contacts in Outlook should appear. Now that we have a feel for where we can change some of these options, let's go ahead and close the dialog box. Now let's take a look at how to exit Outlook. We could do this by using the Close button in the upper right corner of the window, but let's continue to use Backstage View. We'll need to return to it first. The Exit button at the bottom of the left pane will close the entire application. As we have just seen, Backstage View organizes important Outlook options and settings into one convenient location. Whether it is for mail, calendars, contacts, or tasks, Backstage View is the command center of Outlook.